I'm pretty gassed for today's video. Should I tell you why I'm so gassed, Ollie? Yes. Today we're going to do a found sound at Get In The Mix video. That sounds sweet. We're going to go around the warehouse. We're going to go around the showroom. We're going to go around the office, hitting things with sticks, annoying people, making some noises, and of course, recording all these noises with a trusty microphone. We've set up our little portable rig with a laptop, an interface, and a microphone. And we're going to go around and we're going to capture some source audio. We're going to come back, we're going to listen to the source audio, and we're going to have a, maybe generate some ideas of what we could possibly do with that. And then, I think we should make some music with it. Yeah, try and make a banger out of it. Let's make some bangers. Yeah. Let's give it a go. You ready? Should we go record something? Yeah, let's go record some sound. Slapper. That is quite nice. <laughs> We've got a vocal. <laughs> I record the vocal. I want to see if we can get that. Right, a lot of background noise means we need a dynamic. Rodney, we could use you. Could you hold this microphone, please? Oh, okay. Clip, no, not there. That was a cool sound. Yeah, that was, was a, cool, cool. That was a really cool good. sound. Thank, Thank you very much, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> you could use that little as a snare and you can layer it with like. Yeah, it has like a really nice clap. Yeah. I love that. Ooh. Uh, what else in this room can we make some noises with? And this piano makes a noise. That may be cheating. Ooh. It's like a kick drum. Yeah, we can have that. Portable recording. We'll have a bit of that. Speaking room. Where's my noise maker? Where's my noise maker? Have you lost it? Anyone send me noise maker? It's all good. Ooh. Sounds. <laughs> Moving on. Aaron, do you control the music? Can you turn it off for five minutes? Nah, we're not messing with our vibe, mate. No, we're messing with the vibe. <laughs> we're messing with the vibe. <laughs> Would it be more impressive than that? Okay. <laughs> what do you speak? Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you want to be contacted. Do Phil Collins. There's your film cut is there. That crisp bracket Russell sounded good, who's got that? The shredder. Oh, where's the shredder? Pop something through over there, look. The guillotine. The guillotine. How does this bread sound? How does the bread sound? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What about the unique sound of dropping a pod down in the holder? Makes a cool noise. Ready? Ready? Oh, and then landing on top of the uh, there other is. Thing. Yes. Got a little capsule over it. Right, right. What have you got for us over here? Coffee capsule deliverance. Sound is your bishop. He doesn't make any sound, mate. Oh. He's a barney bishop. Ooh. I can hold the microphone. Do both. Oh, you can do both. We make bangers out of sound. Three, two, one. Drop the bass. Sing it, microwave. Yeah, we were. Fridge. Punch my roll. Punch your roll. Not too hard. I mean, it's my lunch. You know when you open a sauce pot and you give it a squeeze and it goes the little. Tamarines, mate. Shakers. Shaker, shaker, shaker. Oh, turn it upside down, the tinny bit on the bottom. Oh. What's that instrument called that makes that noise? I know the one you, you mean. The one, I mean. the one that made you hit around at primary school. <laughs> <laughs> He's popping up in the warehouse. Give us a beep. Stuart has appeared. If you put your thumb over there, it's just a little bit louder. Is it? Yeah, right. Come on. Let's try it. You, you beep. Decent. Perfect ambience. Thank you very much. <laughs> Keep coming. No, I'm going to film the sound of that moving. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's what I was waiting for. Ooh. <laughs> Toilet doors, they make my 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 Give us some trumpet, Darren. Noise maker up. Definitely gonna be a melody, that one. That sounds like those trap leads. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like bang, 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 bang. Some vintage gear. Ooh. I wonder what noise the bubble machine makes. <laughs> In the box room. Uh, do you need some help? <laughs> Cutters. But well, that made no sense. That's whatsoever. not making any noise. <laughs> what piece of art did we just destroy? Brooklyn Beats 05. Brooklyn Beats 05. Brooklyn Beats 05. No. What is that? <laughs> Does this thing beep when you drive it? Do you mean by beep? Does it go beep, beep, beep? Yeah. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Right, I think I've got a nice selection of sounds. Should we go to the studio, see what we've got to work with? Let's see what we can do. Yo. Yo. Right, so what's next? Next step, go through the audio, cut out the best sounds, cut them into individual little samples. You can have a little listen through and see what's what. Okay, so I've cut all the best sounds out. If we just go through a few of them now, starting at the beginning, we've got some. Danger. There's gonna be a lot of percussion in there. Yeah, a lot of percussion. Ooh. That is a wet sound. Wet, a wet sound. I've got some really weird little vocal shops because the lady on the phone started talking to me. If you, yeah, that's sick. <coughs> wow. Is that the, that's the take down, isn't it? That is. The take. Wow. That's like a duck. So we've got a lot to work with here. So I think okay. we yeah. take these sounds home. Yep. We have a little fiddle. Both do it. I'm going to challenge you this time. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. just going to be me. Right, we'll go home. I'll make a track. You make a track. We'll come in and we'll have a little listen and hopefully we get some bangers out of it. Hopefully, yeah. Right. Cool, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Sweet. Right, first things first. So we've been home, we've made our tracks and we've brought them back here to the studio. Did you bring the fire? Uh, I hope I've brought a bit of fire. A bit of fire. We'll see. You never really know. I've kind of more gone for the chill, to be honest, but yeah. we've got our results here. We'll play the tracks. We'll have a little listen, show everyone how we came to what we got. Yeah, sounds good. So be, first... uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you've done, to be honest. Yeah, right. Well, first things first. A bit nervous. Let's play through. I went with like a chill vibe. I wanted to play some guitar over the top of a part of it. Which we didn't Backseat. record. Uh, no, so <laughs> the, the only thing in the track we didn't record in Get In The Mix was yeah. my guitar. So let's have a little play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
filter action. And yeah, then filter action. That's nice, man. Nice job. That's what I got. Yeah, that's like it's just got a really nice vibe to it, and it's all it's very full. It's, it is full. It's a lot of elements in yeah. there. But I was quite happy with all the different sounds. I mean, it's it's really interesting process. It's taking these kind of core sounds that were definitely nothing musical whatsoever, yeah, and yeah, creating exactly. them into something that sounds quite musical. Were those little vocal chops from the phone? No, those that vocal chops were. <laughs> it's actually me. Oh, that was you. <laughs> it was oh, me. was that like you just? Said <laughs> so I'll go into I'll go into, I'll go into it in more detail later yeah, we'll when, we, when we dissect the track. But the original sample was. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'll show you how I turned into what I turned into yeah, in a bit. Sweet. So, right. so that's yours. That's mine. Right. Okay. My turn. Your turn. Bit of a different vibe to what you've uh, what you've gone for. You'll see we'll see how that goes down. See what you think. Yeah, let's let's press play. Let's dive in. Get it going. Ooh. Sounds janky already. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit janky. A bit janky. I really rate that. I really rate that. That's such a janky, bassy, yeah. not quite newer but like that kind of quality to it. Yeah. yeah, but I think my main inspiration was like the sort of Ivy Lab, Future Beats, C, half yeah, yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, a, thanks, that's a vibe. Whilst have... the project is open and we're recording, why don't you dissect your track of, first? A little bit of dissecting. So just, just show us what's what and how you did Let's what uh... you've got. Start at the top. I'll start with the kick. A kick is literally like I remember you, you were saying something. You've got some layers going on I with have your got kick. Some layers Whereas, on my kick. just I've consolidated the sample, so you can't see the rest of it. The drum bus is doing a lot as far as like the sub end is concerned. But that, that I think that that was hitting a box. Had a bit of click to it as well. Yeah, didn't it? with the drum bus, just like 
turn that boom up, bit of saturation. tune it a bit, yeah, a bit of saturation going on, and then just some wobbly EQ. Yeah, just like. Yep. All right, and then for the hat, we've got this little it's the plastic. plastic I, shake. I named it Plastic Shake. Yeah. One of the things I did was I just went through, found a bunch of sounds I like, and just dragged them into the drum rack. So you... literally all the little one shots that I liked, like a snippet of plastic or something somewhere. What's going on? Could Kurt's. it be when I punched your roll? It might be when you punched my roll. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> that was my hat. Yes, it's just like a mixture of like the scissors. I can hear what I use for my hi hat in there. I'm sure. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> so over here we've got the sub. So this sub is literally just this tiny snippet, and this snippet was, I think, from the fan. There we go. So, I mean, so that sounds quite cool. That, like that does sound, so that's part of the fan, is Wing. it? Yeah, that is literally, that's yeah, the fan. So the fan was a gold mine. <laughs> Again, saturated, impressed, that's purely for sidechain with the kick. And, and then this is the crispy bass, which is, the same sound, uh, but just a different section of the frequencies. Um, it's, I mean, it's basically just sounds like a saw wave, mm. ultimately. Filter moving around on it. The notch filter going yeah. on there. Again, saturation, chorus, phaser, literally just like, with a bass sound, just... Process just, the hell out of it. They just slap on those effects, and I just like, yeah, chorus, phaser, OTT, of course. It's been a while since I've used OTT. OTT goes on everything, doesn't it? I must have yeah. put it on everything in my track. Yeah. Top tip, if you make dubstep, OTT, OTT on everything. everything. 100%. I got um, that from the pros as well. On, yeah. On good. Straight from the source. Yeah. <laughs> Vocal chops. I love that. that. It's got a nice little delay to it. <laughs> I had to cut out this frequency here because there was a... I just got to bring it oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and so that was interfering with my, my beep, bleepy melody. But yeah, just like delay, Q, width. Uh, Using Ableton 10? So did you notice yes. they got rid of the ping pong delay? I only found this out yesterday. They were the ping pong. Yeah, yeah, it's all in. What, it's in all... Ableton 10? Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't, I only started on Ableton 10. Oh, so, yeah. so there was the perfect delay that I always use, ping pong delay, has now been incorporated into their uh, standard delay, which yeah. is called delay. So uh, I always use ping pong delay, and I spent ages like, where's ping pong delay? <laughs> Google it. Ping pong. So just the little bleeps. Is that from the there's, phone? There's a bit of automation and stuff going on with the filter delay. That is from the phone, yeah. Uh, again, OTT. I've got a grain delay going on. The grain, de oh yeah, the grain delay comes in. Not Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's what really creates the nice little artifacts yeah, moving around in the top end. You can just hear yeah, it fluttering between your headphones. Completely change the tone of it. Add like this really sort of like erratic sort of like rhythm to it uh, in combination with the filter delay that's on before it. Mm -hmm. Actually just like stacking effects. This, this is like maybe one of the laziest things I did. I literally just took a Russell layer. <laughs> the Russell layer? The Russell layer, yeah. That literally just runs throughout the entire tune, just filling in yeah, the space, just... really. Phaser on it for some width. Bit of side um, chain. Yeah, all these sounds are obviously like, because we just recorded them with the mic, like they're all just like completely mono. Mm -hmm. And I like to use Isotope Stereo Imager mm -hmm. for making things wide, but I didn't do that because I wanted to keep it all within Ableton like plugins. See, that's where I cheated. I did that's use <laughs> external man, plugins. Just whipping out a guitar and that. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's perhaps perhaps my favourite bit is is the Aaron vocal. Oh, wait. I didn't even, did you not even realise the Aaron vocal? I didn't even notice. It was in the, no, we have to hear that again. You, ready? Do you want sounds? Do you want sounds? <laughs> you want oh, wait, sounds? I need to hear that in the mix from like here. Yeah, it's a little bit buried to be fair on the old... Uh... Do you want sounds? <laughs> 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 Oh, easy. <laughs> but yeah, the, got that vocoder on there. It's not so good. Yeah, the vocoder man is so like, without it. I mean, it's alright without it, but it just adds like all this and also that texture. What settings and noise carry a bit of? Oh, just like it's, it's pretty default to be honest. Yeah. Just drag the noise up into the corner, uh, put the formant up a bit. But yeah, it just adds this texture that makes it like sort of seamlessly blend with that crispy bass. Yeah, yeah. Finally. I've just got like a bunch of effects layers. Now this this one down here I quite like. <laughs> oh, that is yeah. Nice. It just sounded way better than I imagined it would. A bunch of reverb and OTT again. OTT. <laughs> OTT on everything. Oh, After okay, the yeah. reverb is just like, wow. I mean that's pretty much it. That's what we got going on in here. That's it. I mean I really like I it. it. Thank you, Thank so. You. Track dissection time, right. Let's right, have a look. Right. What have you done? What have I done? That what is a good question. Done? So the first thing we'll go into is the vocals. It's really simple, just choppy. That's you as well, isn't and it? And that is me. So that was, yeah, started out. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. I cut it down a bit of Wade's classic CLA okay. vocals on there. I've got a standard Vox, Vox processing uh, audio yeah. thread that I put on it. This is an interesting looking bass line, just like we just sliding up. Yeah, although it's actually not a bass line, even though it says bass 27 there. It's actually the roads. So what have you made these roads out of? So the roads... That's nice. The roads came from the sound of the shredder. By <laughs> An unlikely story. That's the original noise. That's, that's some roads if I've ever that... heard them. <laughs> and again, like you did with your bass sound, I zoomed right in and selected a particular cycle. Mm. Added some Camel Crusher. Great distortion, distortion yeah. yeah. More Beef is my favorite classic OTT. <clears throat> the guitar doesn't need explaining, it's just a guitar. This is one of my impacts, which I was quite happy with. Nice. Started as this box noise. Oh, the old, the sling. Yes. A lot of reverb, dry webs on 60% yeah. decay times, just high size, it. yeah. Should have slapped an OTT at the end there, just to, <laughs> just, to, just, just for good measure. Just to suck it all up. And we've got this section over this here, so this is, this is actually a bass, yeah. A kind of rolly sub, almost, if you will, which actually is the the same sound that came from the road, so it came from the shredder as well. It's, it's a versatile it's shredder. It's a versatile mm -hmm. shredder, it was used for many sounds. Then there is a top sound, uh, which is... Very Reesey. Very Reesey. So I just layered quietly on top of that sub bass. I mean, you're probably not going to believe where that came from, actually. So if I come <laughs> down here... Um, I'm not going to believe it. Well, Big claim. This is what the original sound was. That is Darren making trumpet noises with his mouth. <laughs> that... To be fair, like that sounds pretty trumpet-like. It does, it does sound like a trumpet. <laughs> Turns out that inside of Serum, you can almost use it like a sampler. So I was able to drop the source material in here as nice. a wavetable. So this is... This is Darren here in the wavetable. Um, <laughs> it's called what Darren was very Reesey. It is very Reesey. Um, I did find actually that as you move the wavetable position around, if I'm mm -hmm. holding it... Oh! That's and then really some cool, basic actually. filter effects, and that created the, the, the Darren, Darren noise what, yeah. that was <laughs> used in a couple of that. instances. Once on this uh, LFO section of the track, it's got a bit more movement to it, mm. and that's really just Spice. achieved from LFO, tool. from LFO tool. This is my hi-hat. With a little T. Uh, yeah, that came from uh, a trusty Gorilla Lid. Cut the sound down to make it really short, really small snippet, extra reverb. You gotta, yeah, just um, drench it. Because like it's like, here. my main sections is drums. Right, so, uh, my Flaps snare. Nice. Snare, sorry. Sound that one and this one, cool which I labeled them up together and they became my snare. My kick was two separate sounds, that one, so. Snare, what's that low, what's that low rumbly is coming? That low rumbly, I'll show you in a sec, that comes from drum bus, pretty much. Oh, okay. Um, that's the low end of the kick, but both of those are accentuated That's by deep. Uh, a drum bus, which I set mm. the frequency to 35.1, which is the lowest, Super low. the lowest C, because I had other sounds that were occupying it and a higher note, but it yeah. just added a bit of, because I didn't want an 808 mm. as such, it just yeah. added a bit of whack. For the actual kick sounds itself, it was layered up for me, you so. some layers going on. And a bit of crunch from yeah. that one. All those layered together came in with a nice punchy. Yeah, that's a nice kick. The same for the snare. What is that? <laughs> Satin. <laughs> Some one of the many. Yeah. This last one here. Uh, and all of that went into the drum bus. Yep. Not so drum bus. Well, yeah, it did go into drum the bus, drum rack. But it went into the drum rack. Snare room, more compression, more EQ. Look at that. More compression, more what EQ. OTT. It. <laughs> but. I mean, it's a bit... It's uh, necessary. Yeah, and sometimes <laughs> there's no rules really here, and I was a lot of the time just experimenting, like, oh, push this, push this, how can we get it? And mm. eventually it came out, and I was, by the end of it, very happy with the... Put the percussion on there. It had a lot of whack to it. Yeah, that is pretty... It had a lot of weight to it. I was really happy with that. Mm. And the same thing. got stronger drums, I think, because I, I mean, I, I was a bit lazy, I'll admit, because I just used just sort of like one sound. For each. Yeah, but your, the layers have come together really nicely, and you get much more full drum sounds. Then my donk, which was actually the same sound from the shredder. <laughs> the yeah. shredder? The shredder did me bits, to be honest. Yeah. Roads, donks, donks bass lines, yep. the lot. The whole thing. Only make a whole, next you have to make a whole track using just, One, just the shredder. Just the shredder, that would be a challenge. <laughs> then I have a really simple little arp. Got a lot of layers. There is a lot of layers. layers than myself. So this was just like some twinkly. Du, 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 that was really, that's the nice um, And that actually came from the reversing 
the revert. So that, if I, what one's that? I've consolidated down, but that is beep, 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 beep. OTT'd it, camel crushed it, bit of reverb, filters, the ping, ping there's the ping. There's the ping pong delay that I wanted and a bit of filter. Whack an arpeggiator on the front yeah. actually. Um, Very nice. That's all that, just to create the, it's, it's quite that's subtle. Nice. It's, it's a yeah. low layer. It's not like really high It just high fills end. out that high end quite yeah, exactly. nicely. All right then, so we right. finished our tracks. Yep. We've had a little look at how they were made and had a little look at how we created the source audio. Yeah, and we've got a nice selection of samples. We have indeed. That we've recorded. I think it's time to challenge everyone at home to see if they can do something similar. Yeah, I think so. So we'll put these files into a little folder for you to download on, on at home, put them into your DAW, see what you can come up with, yeah. send it our way, and if we like what you've got and we're impressed, we'll select the winner and then perhaps there'll be a production related prize for the winner. Yeah, for the best one. We could wrestle something up. Yeah, so have a look in the description, download the pack. Thanks for watching. As always, like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Chuck us a comment in the comment section and be sure to subscribe. And as always, get in the mix.